the Rainier R knows how to get around, or at least thinks he does. So he would just be finding his own way through Seattle. You know, he might end up in some dives and he might end up in some really great places. So you never know where that R is going to end up. It's been just about everywhere in Seattle, I think. So you're saying that Rainier gets around? Rainier gets around. But I like the idea that he's a family member that's, you know, he comes to, I, he's dependable. But you know, he's, uh, he's a little, um, Come on, everyone knows Rainier Beer. You don't drink it out of the top, you put a pole in it and do it that way. That's what Rainier Beer is all about. We wanted to get uh, college fraternity guys wear the bottle and run along the the hill, the hills, the lower hills and mountains of Mount Rainier in the summertime, so that people would actually see the wild Rainiers out there. And we would make them hairy, you know. When I was a young man. Uh, a little while ago, a friend of mine called me up and they needed two people that were small enough to fit inside some Rainier bottles that they had motorized and put on boats out on Lake Washington for a uh, commercial that they were doing. So I was one of the Rainier inside bottle people. Well, it's just, you know, when you do think of Rainier, or the R especially, it's, it, it, it kind of does belong it's where it was before. Uh, it really was a way for me to know how close I was to uh, the off-ramp to the West Seattle Bridge and get home. It is a community landmark, you know. When I first came to town in 1966, I went by that and I saw that R. I said, I wonder what that is. And the uh, first thing, uh, that's the Rainier Brewery. You know, we kind of forget because the world has changed so much, but having a brewery right in your hometown was a really big deal in the 20th century. And Rainier Beer was the hometown brew of Seattle. So when you drove into Seattle and saw that R, you know you had arrived. Always driving up I-5 whenever we would see the R, that was the thing that you could see through fog, through rain, through everything, right off the freeway. That was the symbol that we were there. Honestly, when Linda's first opened, I used to drink Rainier, and people would say, Linda, you can drink anything in your bar. It's all free for you. Well, why are you drinking Rainier? You know, I, I don't want to call it a cheap beer. I like cheap beer. It makes you pee a lot. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It goes right through you like water. It's good, though. Cheap. And I'm a light beer drinker, like I don't really like kind of real hoppy beers, so Rainier beer is something that um, I tend to buy a lot of, and we sell a lot of, and I think it's something that's, you know, it's light, it's not, you know, you don't get real full on it. Um, yeah, it's good. My dad drank it growing up as a kid. He actually even tried to get into a commercial for it. Send us your, your Rainier beer TV spot, and you might get on TV. Uh, they didn't get it though, they didn't get the commercial. We got this this very, very nice song in from the lady on the on a piano. And then she she called herself the whistler. We got her to tell us a spot. She plays the music on the piano and she starts whistling, turns the camera, starts whistling. She was dead serious about her whistling. I mean, she was ready to go to, you know, New York City with it. It was so wonderful when she cut into the whistling. That was one of my favorite spots. Okay, well, my favorite ad is everybody's favorite ad. It's got to be the motorcycle. Rainier. Rainier. Rainier beer. Rainier beer. Rainier beer. Whenever we would play dirt bikes in the neighborhood and ride around on our bicycles, we would make the Rainier beer sound like we were moving through the gears. We were advertising for Rainier beer, yeah, as children. You're not, we're not gonna sell beer. We're not selling beer. What we're gonna sell is 30 seconds of entertainment. That's what we're gonna sell. Because you can't put money in the TV and buy beer. You buy that at the bar. What you're gonna buy is people holding their thumbs off the, off the zappers and listen to your dog on TV ads. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> and what we tried for was novelty. And the human response to novelty is usually a smile or, or happy. People, I think, want it the way it is and the way it was and preserve the R on the can, in the hand. So I'm really happy that it's back. It's right. just part of Seattle. It is, you know, it's the mountain. It's the beer. 
And I'm hoping that this is the year the Seahawks go to the Super Bowl, that the R's back, that, you know, we almost had the Sonics again. That's a whole other conversation. Mariners need a lot of help. They need a lot of help. Happy that it's coming back. Feels, feels, feels like it's time to come home, R. Come back home. Thank <laughs> you.